Right, we've just got off that train at Helifield. Okay, so if I can just... That's a bit better. Now then, um, I didn't get a chance to start this video at Cottingley, but uh, that train's rather busy from Leeds to Morecambe. So, last Saturday I went out and completely made a mess of everything because... Um, and the weather wasn't so good either as well, going up towards Aysgill. So I'm going to do it again today and we'll see if we can see Tangmere. It wasn't Tangmere actually last Saturday anyway, so it was a black five. Because I did just see it split for a split second up near Aysgill. Uh, I didn't get to film it. So anyway, get it the next train um, from Helifield to Garsdale, walk on towards Aysgill, unless we get a lift. And then uh, take it from there. Okay, so let's do it. I'll do it right this time. Right, this is the Settle Carlisle train now. We'll go to Garsdale with this one. It's only another two car set, so it could be full. Well patronised, I reckon. Sleeping <laughs> Helifield. So we'll go to Garsdale with this. Just pulling in to settle. Digging across the end of it. So you'll see where we walked up here last Saturday. I decided not to upload the video from it. It's just a waste of time last Saturday what I got. The weather was pretty crap as well, so <coughs> there's no video for the 17th of February. Side the river <coughs> coming down from Stainforth Force. You know, this is the Statesman Rail now. We thought this was steam, but it's not. Sheriff Brow, <coughs> where I'd like to get a steam tour in this direction, somewhere where them trees are, just there. That would be nice. Just left Ribble Head, and we're now heading over the viaduct. Oh, coming up to it rather. Wish they put two tracks back on here again now, because you'd be near the edge there instead of in the middle. Plenty of sheep about. And Wernside <coughs> is the big hill in front of us just there now. It's the masterpiece of the Midland Railway up here is Ribblehead Viaduct, but there are bigger viaducts. 
will never get land if they get into that crimple virus. Just come out of Bleemore Tunnel now, we're in Dintdale. This is Dented Viaduct. somewhere. We shall have to do that one day, won't we? So coming into Dent now. Serious climb <coughs> from Dent Station, not to Dent Station, from the road lower down. Very tough climb. This is the highest mainline station in England. to Garsdale now. I'm gonna get out to you now. So watch this train leave and then we'll uh, decide what we're going to do. Probably walk on towards A.S. Gill. See it crossing Dandremire Vide up there. It's on full zoom. It's one thing that's not very good with this camera is the zoom. Right, now then we're on a walk now, possibly to Kirby Stephen. Not sure we might just go to Aesgill and back here, but we'll see. So uh, it won't be the title of the video. What will be, we'll be seeing Tangmere, hopefully, over this route to Aesgill, or near enough Aesgill. There's also the possibility of a log train, uh, when Carlisle uh, to Chirk, log train's coming this way. So if that comes, then we should see that in about an hour or so, or maybe an hour and a half. Hopefully, let's just see what the day brings. Right, that's Garsdale station, just up there, and we've walked down to the main road. This is the main A684 and there's a path somewhere just on the left down here now. You can cut off straight, right there it is, straight over to Lunds. We did this oh some years ago when I did a walk all the way to Kirby Stephen but I went right up on the hillside. Not gonna do that today. So let's go over here now. As best we can. Oh, it's soggy, but it's doable. So I was just talking to somebody on the station before we came up here, and he says about an hour and a quarter to get to Aesgill. So I was thinking of having a butty break, but we'll still see how long it takes, roughly. Break aside. What a cracking view. 
Now we just come through the gate there and you can see the station over there and the viaduct. What an absolutely spot on view. Right, the footbridge is up ahead. If I pan right shortly, you'll see Lund's viaduct. Oh dear. A bit firmer now. What should I have spoken to soon on that one? Yeah, the viaduct just to the right is hidden by the hill at the moment. We should soon see it. Soggy again here. It must have been absolute hell on earth building this railway back in the 1870s. It must have been. Right, so you can now see Lund's viaduct, if you pan right. It's only what, five arches? Yeah. Right, so let's carry on now to the bridge. Right, you can see just where we walked across there, across all that bog. And this is the railway here looking south. So you can see uh, Moorcock Tunnel and Lund's Viaduct. And then if we pan around the other side, I think that is Shotlock Hill Tunnel up there. So that's the way we're going to head. I had thought of stopping here for butties, but we'll have a bit, we'll go a bit further yet. Doesn't look like that log train is running, but we'll see. It's only half an hour later if it started now from Carlisle. Oh. Right, down this way. Almost going back on ourselves a bit now down here. But we don't need a lift, we're not that far behind schedule. Coming up to Shotlock Hill. Surprisingly they actually built a tunnel here because it's only very short, isn't it? They could just you'd have thought they could just dug it away, had a bit of a cutting. But uh, there may be a reason for it. If the land's a bit, I don't know, soft and dodgy. The tunnel would certainly prevent a landslip, wouldn't it? Now there's another footpath to the left here, but forget it, we're not doing it. Because it'll be as boggy as whatever. It's down there, that look of it, but anyway. It's amazing how well built this line is. Because they built it for 90 mile an hour running. And it's now 60, mostly, with that annoying 30 mile an hour dent. I know most trains stop there, but freights don't, do they? Special excursions don't. Not usually. Right, not all that far to go now to get to Ayers Gill. It's us a good hour already. Now that mountainous range ahead of us is Wild Boar Fell. At least I couldn't map it is. Malastang, further out to the right. So I've got plenty of time. I might, as I say, might just walk on to Burkitt Common 
my Burkitt tunnel is, see if you can see uh, steam tour there. But nothing, not going to risk screwing it up like we did last Saturday. I will include some excerpts from last Saturday in this video, dated accordingly. We're here, Hayes Gill, or rather just past it. The summit is just where the bridge is in the distance down there. So, see if we can sit down somewhere, you know, have sandwiches and whatnot. Yeah, you can just sit on the ground. Right, well, anyway, let's uh, hang around now. Here we are, it's on its way and it is Tangmere. It's not hanging around, is it? enough to get a lift part way to Kirby Stephen well most of the way to Kirby Stephen actually so there's a bridge here over the old Stainmore line which is on this side I don't think there's much here But well, this is where Kirby Stephen East Station was. Some disused carriages and whatever, and a bit of track, I think, up there. Not much. Yeah, there's some carriages or something there. I don't think that could actually go anywhere as such, but uh, maybe another 10 years, who knows? Let's get up this way now. I seem to remember flying the drone here, or somewhere just here. So we obviously have been here since 2020, the back end of that year, because that's when we got the drone in September. First use it on the 1st of October. So, here we are, Kirby Stephen West. Just Kirby Stephen now, of course. But the code is KSW, which stands for Kirby Stephen West. And it's a PH, it's not a V. It's Stepen, pronounced Stephen. I don't know why we're rushing really, because the train's not got an hour or so yet for the one to Carlisle. Because I thought I'd go to Carlisle and then straight back up the west coast to Lancaster and across to Skipton that way. We'll see. Right, made it to Kirby Stephen. So I'm tempted to just go direct back in a good, about an hour or so from this side actually. There's one on the other side in 10 minutes quicker. 
sooner, but it won't be a quicker journey, obviously, going all the way to Carlisle and coming back back west coast. Uh, let's have a look over the footbridge anyway. It's been modified from Midland days as this, sadly. I like to think, I like things in original condition as possible. And I do. As near original condition as possible. The crossover's not used now much, is it? Because they don't they don't have a, a starting train turn back here, do they anymore? There used to be a turn back at started here to Carlisle. But it works all the way from Leeds now at 5.15. It does. Right, down train approaching. We are not going to get on this one now. I've decided to go back to Leeds direct. Yes, if we do go to Carlisle, it'd be dark as we go up the west coast and all the way back home. So I've decided not to do it. So about 10 minutes more to wait for the Leeds Direct service. So, uh, yeah, we'll let this one go to Carlisle and then we'll head over to the opposite side. Right, top it goes to Carlisle. We'll now cross over the bridge in a minute too and I've got all my stuff and head to Leeds. Right, our train approacheth. So I'll get to Leeds on this one and see what we can do then whether I'll go straight home or not. Remains to be seen. Nine oh seven. That means it's a former Metro one five eight. This one. train now heading for Leeds and uh, you can see roughly where we were earlier. This is a Birkin tunnel we're coming up to. I was thinking of getting the steam tour here but we didn't, we didn't get quite enough time. Just as the light is starting to go, oh, we're approaching Aesgill. Took us about an hour and a quarter, an hour and twenty to walk it from Garsdale. Take us a lot less than that on the train to go up. About five minutes or so. <coughs> Right, back at Leeds. So let's go over and get the uh, what's it train? <laughs> oh, get a one nil job. Looks like it. Nobody else on board. Getting off and nobody to get on. So. Oh, that was a bit involved. Well, 
we'll let this train play us out and then we'll head home. It is pretty good in low light, is this camera. Right, well, uh, yes, not been too bad a day. We've uh, had a decent walk and seen one steam train and whatever, so yeah. Anyway, cue music, see this video, bye for now.